The farmers' concerns on the human-wildlife conflict were raised during visits to the borderline areas by the regional joint security team headed by Deputy Commissioner Jason Hatutale. The team conducted border patrols along the borderline separating Namibia and South Africa. Farmer Jacob Van Veik says in the international borderline erected about 50 years back has not been effective to keep predators away from their farmlands. Yeah, well, biggest concern is uh, wildlife, human wildlife conflict. I mean, we are bordering a national park on the South African side, also on the Botswana side. And the fence is, uh, I think, about 40, 50 years old. It's not up to standard. It should be, it should be 2.2, 2.4 meters high. Uh, it should be electrified. And it's at some places, some places 1.5, 1.6 meters high. So our my biggest concern is uh, lions, leopards, jackal coming over, killing our livestock. We don't have a problem with human-human conflict. Another farmer, Johannes Huyesen, says the South African government prohibits farmers from fixing sections of the border fence where wild animals enter their farmlands. He commended the law enforcers for patrolling the border line. I just want to thank you for your action and willingness to come and see what is going on here in our area. Deputy Commissioner Jason Hatutale says the farmer's input add value to the regional joint security border patrol mission aimed at protecting the international border lines.